Hello everybody and welcome back to the valley, the old farm. So today we're going to do some fertilizing jobs. You can see that we've got quite a few lined up here. So I filtered the job so it's just showing me the fertilizing jobs only. And I've taken them all on that we can. There's a nice amount of money here. But because we have done a lot of like fertilizing over the past few episodes, I'm not going to show you. I'm just wanted to show you that, look, they're active. I'm going to go and complete them all off camera now. And then we'll come back and you'll see the law say completed. We'll take the money so you can see that it's been fairly done. And I've actually here doing them. I'll go start a worker off now. I'll hop out and let the worker crack on with this. Oh, I've just been soaked. So the worker's going to sort that one out for me. As you can see, there's a few to do. Let's uh, go and have a quick look around here. Where's it going again? Contracts have disappeared. There we go. The worker's starting on this one here, which is the harvesting one we did in episode two. So we'll let the worker crack on with them. We'll come back when they're done. And then I'm going to have a look at doing a harvesting job. Now, if you're kind of wondering as well, if you think I'm ignoring comments that were on the previous video, well, as I'm recording this, that video hasn't actually gone out yet. It's not public. So I have no idea if anybody's commented or what the comments are. So I just thought I'd let you know that. No, I'm not ignoring them. I said it hasn't gone out yet. So um, we're just going to do some contracts in this episode. And then I'm hoping... By the time I record the next episode, we should have some comments about what field to buy. Now, if nobody wants to join in, no comments to let me know what field to buy, then I'm more than happy to just have a look and buy something myself. I initially said I think 19 could be a good one. It's a grass one, 53,000. We've got the money to get it now, and obviously definitely as soon as we uh, do some more of these contracts. But I also was wondering, maybe could it be worth going down here? Because this is the land that we want to get. This is the big main farmyard that's got cows, chickens, sheep everything on it i wonder if it could be worth actually looking at somewhere around here because then at least if we buy the field well we're still going to use it when eventually we can afford this so maybe something like this i mean that's only 53 it's small but i mean we could go for something like that that's 141 we're not far away we'll probably be close after we've done these fertilizing jobs maybe 83 we can afford that one not far away from 92 so they're not out of reach these here so i'm just wondering what if it might be worth it hmm. well i'm gonna wait to see if any comments do come in if not then i will have a think and buy a field myself so that's all the fertilizing jobs are done oh pull down the van sorry van so we're just driving back now to uh, our tent just gotta turn left just here and then we'll be pulling into the dealers so the money's dropped down a little bit i had to go buy three more bags of fertilizer i was doing the big field one which is the one that we sowed a couple of episodes ago. And I basically ran out. So I, I managed to get some more fertilizer. Three more bags. Not the cheapest stuff in the world, if I'm honest. Uh, let's just give it a little wash. There we go. All looking good. So that's now part up. All them done. Uh, let's just go back on. We need to collect the money because I will forget. Always oh, looks nice when you see them. It says completed, completed all the way down. Look at that. So let's just, uh, how do we do this? Collect, 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 collect. Oh, that's a nice feeling, that. Look at that. 135,263. That's not bad at all. So if we go back on here now, I'll need to grab my mouse for this one. And then basically we've filtered it. Filtered it down to show me fertilizing only. Uh, I don't believe there's, yeah, there's no more new contracts for fertilizing. So we can turn that one off. And if we want to look at some harvesting, we can select the harvesting menu to see what we've got. And we've got these here. So what have we got then? We've got a, a cornfield, which is, I'm guessing, a small one. It's offering just about a £1,000. Look at that header. That is tiny. That's, yeah, it's not worth it. That 500 quid. You're going to get out of bed for that one. Let's have a look at some more serious ones then. So we've got this one here, 14, which is sugar beets. Oh, my. Sugar beets are a bit of a nightmare. What's this one here for 23? Oh, sugar beet again. They're the only ones that are paying quite well at the minute. Now, because, like I said, I don't know, I haven't seen your comments yet to what field that we're going to buy. And I can't really progress anymore with a, in our own field, which it would be nice to do. So um, I've kind of, yeah, stepped on my own toes here by trying to record this one a bit early. Let's see if I can find something to do. Okay, so you might call me mad. I have gone and picked a job to do, and it's round the corner, the equipment. Let's go run around and have a look. And I think as soon as you see that big yellow thing, it's going to get... 
give it away what I've gone for. Yep, we're doing some sugar beets. Every other job on there is very low, and then when you add the leasing cost in, it's almost like you get nothing. A few hundred quid. It's, it's not worth it. I might as well fast forward time and do some more fertilizing. But I thought this is something different we've not yet done on this series. It's it, mm, little-ish. It looks little on the map. No my luck when we get there, it's going to be huge. But field 51. And we get to play with a nice John Deere. It's been a while since we've uh, been in the old Deere. Oh, I'm looking at my uh, private parts there. Look at this. Very nice. Oh, a little passenger seat. What good is that for anybody? Who's going to fit in there? I mean, I, look, I struggle to get my ass in this seat here. Who's going to fit in there? Is that in case you want to bring the wife along? I'm guessing so. Maybe you could... I mean, you could you be able to bring the kids along. If you've got your kids with you, one of your kids with you, you'd be able to squeeze them in there. But it's no good for anybody, that seat. Right, let's see if we can hook up here. I wonder what... Um, I wonder what's in this trailer, weight-wise. Is in... I wonder what it holds. Now, I was having a little look on here. Let's just turn that off for a minute. It's going to be a bit noisy. What, what are we on here? 6250? Oh, beautiful. Do love a deer. Very nice. So, I was having a look on the map, and if I'm right, I don't see a train on here at all. So, the comments uh, in a previous episode, I think it was episode 2, said about the harvesting. Go store it in, like, the, the train silo. And then you can move it across to the cell point. Well, I thought, you know what? We could test it out with this to see if that is right. But there's not one on here. There's no train on here. There's no, like, silo at the train station. So, uh, yeah. We can't really test that because I would have to... The only way to do it is if I had land, I'd be able to cheat in some money to buy a silo to hold it for now. But, yeah, unfortunately we can't do that. So we're just going to have to do it the normal way on here because I don't have that option. I mean, I'm looking, but I don't see. Normally you can see because it's like a little faint black line and you can normally see like a, the train obviously going across it. But I don't see any train tracks on this map at all. So I really don't think it has got a train. Now I thought up here there's a grain elevator, which normally is to do with the train, but there's nothing here. And if you look onto these um, the cell points on here, well, look, the grain elevator there will actually buy it. So it's not going to let me store it. It's actually going to... It's going to sell it. And obviously that's not where the contract wants to go. The contract wants to go over here. So we are just going to have to run it through as normal. Like trailer load by trailer load. We're down here. This is the one that we're on. It's not too bad. Out. Straight up. Pretty good. It's fully fertilized as well. So I'm hoping we'll get some pennies off this. But for now, though, I'm going to take all the equipment over there, and I'll see you in the field. So we are here at the field, the sugar beet field. It does look a lot smaller on the map than it actually is. It's a fair size, so we've just got a worker starting off here. Now, yeah, the worker seems to have gone a bit off track a little bit on that side. It got stuck on that tree, but it's okay. We can tidy up after if need be. Now, I'm not sure how much this trailer holds. I don't think it's much. So that doesn't hold much, either the harvester, this doesn't hold much. Yeah, the, the worker might be waiting a little bit as I shuttle back and forth. But we'll, we'll have a look and see what it's looking like at the minute. The worker's just about to come around. Let's see if we can go and hop a ride. I'm missing this as well. Oh, we're nearly full. Okay, so if we jump out, we'll go back into this. We'll see if we can try and get a, a load off the worker. I don't know why the worker's missing... Missing the ends. Very strange, okay. So we're just back up, then we should hopefully be able to try and get down this side. Yeah, the work is missing. Now, it is on course play, so there is a chance that that is what it's actually set to. Maybe it's set to like a, a lands where it misses a row because obviously turning circle wise. Could be the case, I, I'm not sure. Oh, I forgot the work is meant to stop. At least it's filling. It looks like it's slightly going over the edge, but it is going in. Oh, wow. They give me the smallest trailer in the world. 12,100 litres for sugar beet. Really? Oh, my. He's not even going to get to the end of that row before uh, I've got to go and take this. Okay. 
I don't normally do sugar beet and tatties because of uh, it, it just so long winded. On the last episode, all, all them contracts that we did took me nearly five hours to make that just over 30 minute video that you watched. I've got a feeling this is going to take probably that just for this one field. So let's go and head to the sell point and sell our very pitiful first load of sugar beet. So we're back here at this sell point again, which is a zoom out a little bit. This is the one that we did. I think it was the harvesting job that we were here for. So we're back here selling the sugar beet. Now, this is the thing that I was trying to explain about the harvesting in that comment that came through saying that I should store it all up first, then bring it across. The, the thing I was trying to say is I don't understand what difference it makes. I can still only take the same amount per trailer, whether it's all stored or it's just coming off the field live like I'm doing it now. As soon as I go and tip it, you'll see at the top corner, it will come up telling me how much of the contract's been completed based on that load. And we just keep working our way up till it hits the cap of that contract. Once you hit that, it will say it's completed. Whatever's left in the field, that's mine. We get the money for. They are locked. 4% transported of field 51. So we just keep transporting it until it hits, you know, 100% or whatever the, the cap is of it. And then, anything after that, you'll see my bank balance start going up. That's, that's ours. I do think I'm going to have to go and lease my own trailer because this it 12,000 litres. Oh, it's going to take a long time. So... I've got my own trailer. Now, I've leased it for just over like £1,137, I think it was. This is a bigger capacity trailer that we use on PC. It's uh, slightly modded, so it holds 125,000 litres. So we should be able to get quite a nice amount in here, which means we don't have to do quite as much ferrying. It's going to go straight out the side again there. But it's going in, even though it looks like it's going out. So at least we should be able to empty the worker all the way now. Now potentially we could have, on this one, we could have gone for, this is modified for like chaff. Now because chaff you normally pull it behind on the forage wagon and then as you pull it behind, normally it goes straight into the back. So it, it has been done. It's got sides that come up all around it and it holds two and a half million litres. You might have seen, I think it was on, is it Cormston Farm? Where we did that chaff contract. Well, it wasn't a contract. It was leased field. That just got out of control. That did when we started doing the uh, putting the chaff in the uh, the pit. Well, we could do the same with this trailer, and we could use it for this. And potentially, we could have done that and collected all this field in one go in this trailer, then took it to the sell point. So that would have been the same as holding it in a silo. Didn't really think at the time. I I thought that trailer was going to be a little bit bigger, but twelve thousand liters. What good's that? Anyway, let's go uh, jump into here. I'm, I'm not sure. We're going to have to come back and tidy up the edges. Seems like it has gone a little bit off track here. I'm not sure what's going on there. So let's go jump into the harvester and we'll uh, watch a bit of this. It's getting closer to midnight. I tried to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my red cup now. I will soon make a move Things are going quite nice at the minute, apart from keep having a few issues with the worker and have to try and get him back on track. So you can see I've gone around the edge and tied that up myself. But it was looking nice. And I've just tried to start the worker off again, back on a new course. And you can see that he's gone straight in and missed a bit. So hopefully the rest of the field, he should be okay now if we leave him. We've got a full trailer here of 125,000 litres. And a little patch here that's... um. Yeah, we'll come back and sort that out. Trying to get the workers back on track. It's uh, yeah, it's not 
not easy. But it's looking good, so we're not doing too bad. So I'm going to take this over to the uh, cell point. We're going to get rid of this and see how much of the contract this completes. So I'll see you over there. We're here with the second load, but this is obviously quite a big one now. So um, let's see how much of the contract this is going to complete. Bear in mind, this is 125,000 liters. I still think it's not going to complete it. I'm pretty sure of that. But it will, will come up pretty quick. Ooh, 56%. Over half done, so maybe another one of them. That would get us nearly there. I don't think it'd be quite well. We only got four on the first go, so we just say contracts on field 51 is 63% complete. So maybe another one of them. Oh, let's see. Let's go back. Let's get another one. Well, we pull back in the field and we can see that the beacons are flashing, which means he's nearly full, and it does look like it, doesn't it? So if we go and pull about here. There goes the uh, the spout. He will stop. Oh, he's stopping already. Oh, but he is full. Oh, he is full. Look at that. What, talk about timing. Oh, back up a bit. Yeah, that was good timing. That was. I can see the beacons flashing, telling me that he's nearly full. Uh, I didn't expect to sort of get right here on the point he was full. So we'll get this tipped in. Work is doing all right. Not too much to go. Is sugar beet worth it? Do you know what? Every time I do this, I think, you know what? Let's just have a little go, do a sugar beet or a potato contract. I'm not sure. Takes a long time. So at the minute, we're, uh, you know, a good way into this episode. How long have we actually been in the game for? So looking on the right, you can see halfway down, it says time played nearly one hour 40. So we've been here for, well, I've been here for one hour 40 minutes to bring you this so far so yeah it takes a little while to do especially sugar beets it's so small and so slow all i'm hoping for here is there's a good price and we do get quite a bit left over then it might weigh up okay now we need to make sure that we do come back and obviously grab every little bit so we've got this little section here. I've gone around the edges, so it's looking pretty good. Worker's doing a fine job, so we'll let him crack on and we'll come back when we get another full load. Things are running smoothly in the sugar beet field. Now, I think, I think this next trailer load is going to do it and also give us some money as well because we're about 85% of the contract completed. So transporting that as well, that's just going to take it over the edge. So we're just going to wait for this guy to get... A little bit more, but it's 76% full. Maybe another row down. We've got that little bit there to clean up. But I think we're going to get a, a nice amount of this. You know what, actually? Let's have a look and see how much place that we've got to take it to for the contract. Let's have a look and see how much we're actually getting per thousand litres. Well, we're getting £223 per thousand litres. So, not a lot. But it's the highest one out of there. And yeah, if we have a look on here, 261 is the highest we can get around Jan. So we're not massively off what the highest we could get is. Uh, oh, we're full. Let's just go back to this guy. So yeah, it, it, look, it's all going to be money. I'm not exactly sure how much if you want to try and work out, but then I don't really know how much we're going to be left with. So we'll let this go tip into here and see... Is this going to bring us close to being full? I don't think it's going to be far off. I could even take this over now, because I do think that this trailer load is going to complete it. We're nearly at... We're just going to 100,000 now. Yeah, I think this is going to do it. So as soon as this is empty now, we'll go take this over. 106,000 litres. Yeah, I think that's going to do it. I'll take it over, I'll see you back at the cell points, and then we'll see if this does the job. Very nice place this one is. Lovely map this is. So we're just going to go swing wide. Barrier should open for us, I'm hoping it does. There we go, we'll get in here, we're not going to bother checking the weights. What if it's the same for like every trailer load? Well this isn't actually going to read properly because it's got no weight in it. We need to go into the second one here. In we go. Let's jump back outside again so we can see. 
Now, we're this is going to empty very quick. So let's see if our money does go up and we complete the contract. Yes. So we've completed the contract and we sold some product then for 6,338. So everything now, this is what I was trying to say before. We, it's done. The contract's completed. So we did get a little bit off that one. So I don't, I don't see the difference like I've said before. If I put it in a silo, bring it all in, I've still got a trailer load it here one at a time. It's just going to keep working its way up. I don't see the difference. Might be worth a test like, off camera just to see. But for now, the contract's done. Everything in the field is ours. That's all extra money. So we'll go get all that up. And then we've got to collect the contract at the end. So I'll see you back here with the final load. So we finished up then with everything in the field done. And I mean everything. I did go over and get every little sugar beet that I could out of that field. So yeah, there's nothing on there at all. I'll, I'll show you the field. You can see it's just all showing red. There's, there's nothing to harvest on there now. It's just red because it needs plowing, which is what you have to do after corn and sugar beet and taties. So that's everything, and we've got just shy of 15,000 litres, so this isn't going to be any mega amount, but we'll get rid of it, and it's all money towards us. £3,319 all sold. So what we can do now is we'll just pull forward a little bit. We'll uh, turn that off. We'll jump out here. Thank you, John Deere, for a uh, nice, little, uh, nice little ride in that. Then that's, that's a nice tractor, that is. So we can go and get rid of the trailer because we don't need the trailer anymore. So if we just go up to the trailer, we can actually click on it and go return. That's done the job for us. So thank you very much for that. And then this is all contracts now. So if we go on and complete the contract. So the only completed one on there showing us that we're going to get 13,655 because they are taking 584 offers, which I don't think is bad. 584 for... Leasing all that, it's not bad at all. So we're going to collect that. That is it now. We're still on the fertilized option, but as you can see, there's nothing there to fertilize. We are now left with 157,643. Let's just go back to the bike and back to my tent. So that's not bad at all. So we're pretty much done, I would say now, for winter time because there's not really much that's going to be going on in the fertilizing department. As you can see then, if we look on the map, all the orange ones here are harvesting jobs, but we did look through and we went for one of the highest ones around. The rest of them are all little, little prices. And it's just not worth it. The amount of time it takes, if you see what we just did in that field, all that time it took for sugar beets. We can go and have a look on here and see the total time that we've been on here. Nearly two hours on here. And all that time, to just do that sugar beet contract. When... At the start of this episode, I did that one fertilizing field in a fraction of the time, and we got about 16 grand for it. So that's why I really want to stick with the fertilizing. It's quick and it's it's easy money. But because we're in the winter time now, we're just not going to be able to do anything until March. So I think we can pretty much go to bed, wake up in March, and we can have a look and see what fertilizing jobs are ready in March. Because that's when things are starting to go in the ground. That's when people want to fertilize. So I think that could be quite good. I think we'll, uh, we'll go to bed. I'll see you in March. So we are here in a very chilly March. Frost on the ground. We slept all winter. That was a mighty good sleep. So if we go and have a look what's going on on the contracts. You can see on here I've managed to grab seven fertilizing jobs. Which all different amounts. But going to be a nice. Going to build up and be a nice amount. Probably going to make more than we did with these. And that whole sugar beet contract. So I think that's going to be a good place to leave this episode. Because in the next episode, I want to know what field you guys have picked that we can buy. Because I want to get the fertilizing done. Then I want to focus on our own field. So we're going to leave this here. I'm going to see what you say in the comments. And hopefully next episode, we can buy our own field. So thank you so much for watching then. I really do appreciate it. If you are liking this series... Please have your input. Please give it a thumbs up if you're liking it. And please consider subscribing because it really does help the channel out. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.